courtesy of the buccaneers and received it. The English claimed them as guides and hostages against their upcoming incursions into Spanish territory and preserved the lives of their prisoners. Now, these weren't important people as these things were written by the Spanish. They weren't generals or governors or priests. Not the kind of people that people Soldiers were those who were left to die defending the walls of an empty fortress, but these men were probably the ranking officers who had left after the king. Now our chroniclers can probably be forgiven for writing about their distaste at seeing so many Spanish men killed by the coon. It was undoubtedly actually pretty brutal. It was difficult to watch for anybody. This wasn't the heat of battle which they were used to, it was a mass execution. And our chroniclers were, by and large, middle-class, landed English gentlemen. They hadn't been raised in the gutters of London or Dublin or amidst the rum sinks in Port Royal. They were different stock than most of the pirates. And we're actually getting to a point here where some of the buccaneers were almost certainly loyal Caribbean.